After the heavy rain and uh, the strong winds of the first day, conditions were much easier for the second round of the sports bet Australian Masters at Huntingdale. Robert Allenby, twice a winner of the title, had shot 73 on the first day, but he found his putting form on day two. Playing from the 10th, he went through the turn in 35. That was one under par. That was his second to the fourth. But the putter really was in good form. This was for an eagle at the sixth. He uh, about did the fourth. Pop that one in for an eagle. He had another birdie chance at the eighth, his 17th. Loosened up his uh, putting stroke a little bit, much more relaxed. He birdied the ninth, his final hole as well. So four under for the last three holes, 66, five under par for him. Anthony Summers also going pretty well here. This was his third at the seventh. Birdie there, and uh, this for a birdie at the eighth. He was out in 32, he came home in 32, and that was despite dropping a couple of shots in the closing hole. 68 for him, and he's on six under par. Tied on oh, that mark down. with uh, Michael Sim. 72, and then 66 uh, today for Sim. This was for a birdie at the third. So two players on six under par, but the man who's uh, still in the lead is the man who held the, the lead jointly after the first round. Now he's on uh, his own at the top of the leaderboard, Tim Clark from South Africa. This for a birdie at the first, his tenth today. And uh, indeed he played very steadily, indeed he came out of the bunker here at uh, the sixth, this is his third shot to make a birdie here. Only two birdies, 16 pars, 70, he's on seven under.